This video is designed to give you a system for starting to fly fish for bass and panfish. We are convinced that if you add these species to your angling menu, you'll open the door to new seasons and new water. Oh, there he goes. You got him. Nice going, little one. Your host is Skip go. Morris, and he's joined by his wife, Carol. She's an excellent angler in her own right, but operates as a straight man in this tape asking questions and taking instruction in your place. So you, it's a good, it's a logical Oh, manual. he came off. Oh, did he? Did a good head shake for you, several of them. Too bad. A lot better than that tree's doing for me. Our hope is that by watching this video, you'll achieve a basic understanding of the gear and tactics you can use to start fishing for these often overlooked but exceptional fly fishing species. Yeah. We've nipped at it. Oh, I had him. Yeah. I felt him, but he didn't really care. He he swiped it. Got him. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Skip. Oh. After our look at bass, we'll move to a different lake and different water to do a little angling for bluegill and sunfish. This is our panfish section, and we'll go over the ways to find and fish them. Now, if I've got the fly, anything following it? No. Nope. If I've got the fly down six feet, of course, I'd cast out and I'd go one, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, until I got to about ten. When I've counted long enough and the fly's down, if it's deep, I want to keep it down. And the only way to do that is to retrieve very slowly. Now, I can waggle the rod tip a little bit, or I can be a little inconsistent about my, the way I retrieve. That gives the fly a little bit more motion in life. We'll end panfish with the fly Skip uses and give you a few additional pointers you might find handy in your pursuit of this new angling adventure.